What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and it looks like we're finally starting to see a shift in the projector industry with more 4K ultra short throw projectors. So if you're not familiar with these, they allow you to project a huge 4K image from just a few inches away from the wall. This means there's no more need to run wires in your ceiling and mounting a projector over your head. So today we're finally getting a look at the Optima P1. So this is a 4K ultra short throw laser projector, so it uses a laser light source. And with 3000 lumens of brightness, the image from this projector is nice and bright, which is really helpful for people who plan to use this in a living room. So in the box, you get some distance cards that are used to help you figure out how far to place it from the wall, a smart remote, a USB cable, a high speed HDMI cable, which is nice to see, a power cord, and of course the projector. And my initial impression of this thing was, wow, this is a great looking projector. It's got a nice black finish with bronze accents. You'll notice the front is partially covered in fabric and that's because it's sporting a nice set of 40 watt premium internal speakers. The only button you're gonna find is the bronze power button on the front right corner. The glass lens is nestled in the top near the front. It has adjustable feet on the bottom. The right side has a USB port as well as an HDMI port. And of course on the back, you're gonna have the rest of your port. So you're gonna have another USB port, two more HDMI 2.0 ports. So this means that all three HDMI ports support 4K HDR. It's got an optical audio out, an ethernet port, stereo output, and another USB port. Now the P1 is priced at $3,800, so you do pay quite a bit more for convenience, but to be fair, they do throw a few extra features at you, which does help. So it comes with frame interpolation, 3D, HDR10, it supports Amazon Alexa, the Google Assistant, IFTTT, smartphone control, and even has an info wall feature that I'll talk about in a little bit. So getting this set up is much easier than your typical projector. You just sit it on a table or a TV stand, pull it away from the wall to get a screen up to 120 inches, then use the feet to get it level and aligned on the screen. And what's nice is that since this is a laser projector, it comes with eye protection. So if it senses someone in the laser beam, it'll dim the brightness to protect your eyes. Now, one thing to keep in mind with this projector is that it has a pretty high vertical offset. So what this means is that depending on how big of a screen you go with, there's gonna be a pretty big gap between the top of the projector and the bottom of the screen. So if you're going with a 120 inch screen, you need to make sure that your ceilings are high enough since you have to factor in over a foot of space in between the top of the projector and the bottom of the screen. All right, so what about throw distance? Well, for a 120 inch screen, it needs to be around 17 inches away from the wall. Now that's pretty good, but considering my TV stand isn't that deep, I had to jerry rig some glass in order to position it farther away from the wall. So getting it lined up on your screen can be a bit tricky, but what's nice is that you can use the Optima SmartFit app to take a picture of your screen and the app connects to your projector and automatically gets the image straightened out for you. Now, I know some of you are probably wondering if you can still do a screen bigger than 120 inches, and trust me, I did try to get it to work with my screen, but I wasn't able to get it to focus properly at any size bigger than 120 inches. And speaking of focus, the focus controls can be accessed in the settings menu, and getting it focused was a bit tricky, but after a bit of fumbling around, I eventually got it, even though some parts were still not perfectly focused. So the P1 is marketed as a smart projector. So it runs on Android OS and allows you to download apps and stream video over Wi-Fi. Now, even though it is running Android OS, it's cool, but it's not quite as nice as Android TV. So for example, I was able to download and install Netflix, but the movies were limited to 480p, which looks absolutely horrible, especially on a 4K projector. Now, what is really cool is that they included a smart remote. So even though you might not notice it at first, this remote is also an air mouse. So if you need to use an app that doesn't usually work on a TV, you can actually use the air mouse, which works really well. You can also use the Google Assistant, Alexa, or IFTTT to power the projector on or off, change the volume, and even change the HDMI inputs. Another smart feature that's kind of cool is the info wall feature. So this allows you to customize dashboards that can play music, show photos, time and date, weather, videos, and all kinds of other cool info. And you can trigger this to come up automatically using something like IFTTT to automatically show this for a sort of futuristic good morning type of display. Now, admittedly, I thought this was kind of gimmicky, but I do have to admit it's pretty cool. All right, so now onto the most important thing, which is image quality. Well, the image quality on this projector is great. It has good color accuracy, sharpness with good contrast and great black levels. Now out of the box, the image did have a bit of a blue tint to it, but I was able to make some minor adjustments to get it closer to my personal preference. It has several modes and I found that game mode was a nice balance in between bright and cinema mode. And I found that cinema mode did look the best, even though you do lose some brightness. So what I ended up doing was starting with game mode and making some 
those small adjustments to get the image more accurate. And even at 120 inches with the lights on, the image still looks pretty good. And 4K HDR content on this projector also looks good. The colors were nice and natural and I really didn't have to do too much tweaking to get an image that I liked. The colors don't pop as much as they do on some projectors and I would have liked the image to be a little bit brighter, but overall the HDR image looks good. Okay, so now on to these new four speakers. Now, I'll honestly tell you that I didn't have high hopes for these speakers since every manufacturer makes crazy claims about sound, but wow, I have to tell you, I was legit blown away by the sound from these speakers. So it has two full range drivers and two separate woofers and for such a small package they sound amazing. And I was also impressed by the noise levels from this projector. You can kind of hear a very slight whine when it's at its brightest setting, but it seems quieter than most 4K DLP projectors. And of course I can't do a projector review without talking about gaming. So games look fantastic on this projector, but unfortunately the input lag is really high. Now I'm not a hardcore gamer, so I'm not that sensitive to input lag, but I do have to say that it was slow enough that it actually affected my gameplay. So this is kind of a bummer and I'm hoping that this is something that they can address with a firmware update. But if you are a heavy gamer, then all hope isn't lost because Optima happens to make my favorite gaming projector, which is the Optima GT 1080 HDR. So even though this isn't an ultra short throw and it's 1080p instead of 4K, it can still produce a 100 inch image from just over three feet away. Not only that, but it's actually brighter than the P1, it still supports 4K HDR, it has crazy low input lag of just eight milliseconds, and even has 120 hertz refresh rate. Top all of that off with a price of $800 and you've got a great alternative for hardcore gamers or people who can't spend $3,800 on the P1. And if you absolutely want a 4K projector that's good for gamers, then look out for my upcoming review on the Optima UHD 30. So this is a new 4K projector with 120 hertz refresh rate and 15 milliseconds response time. So this will make it one of the fastest 4K projectors out there. But aside from input lag, the Optima P1 is a great projector. Having the flexibility of sitting a projector on a TV stand instead of the back of the room is a game changer. Not to mention movies and TV shows look awesome on this thing. The only two negative things that I could come up with are the high price tag and the input lag. But if you're looking for a 4K ultra short throw projector that's bright enough for a living room, has great image quality and amazing sound, then the Optima P1 is a nice option. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification so you don't miss anything. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.